play this map. They're quite good at it in their own way and form. I don't miss a mix all I game. Okay, um, Paybrex on defense, loud on attack, and the what the hell? Yeah, Guys? <laughs> Guys? <laughs> Guys? Yeah, they ended up walking through a smoke pretty much. Kind of blocked their vision a little bit. Nicely done from loud in terms of the pistols, by the way, it has been 2 0. Americas haven't won a pistol today. This might be the one. 1v5? Surely not. Yeah, uh, Paper X is so happy to opt into the variance that is ever present in this game. I hope that it works out in their favor. Uh, Where can we find the Sage video? What was it called? But as you say, How did I name that one? I had no idea that Loud were going to run a pistol, which also involved them charging towards mid through tiles. I want to take the fight straight to oh. him, trying to earn a few more of these ults. Less on to the corner. It's a good yeah. idea for QCK to Just try to them. push through that, see if he can find the kill. Yeah. It's going to be his ult that they tried to build up early, but... He breaks the head of the meta or something. Exactly Is it literally, did I literally it's name it something as simple as that? Yeah, you might be right. It's actually very close. Two oh, really kills and a death, plus the ult all. Yeah, we'll see how that opened up. I mean, yeah, yeah, this one backfired pretty that's heavy. They did a smoke, which was originally to block vision from the bottom and middle. Then block vision from here, so they don't see them creeping, because a lot of time on their pistol, they've done a 4-1, and they have one putting over towards middle from here. So the original smoke was to block this, but it just backfired. Loud did the most, uh, yeah, I mean, Loud did the best thing against it. In the eco, we get double sheriff, and Loud are allowed a death. There's Loud's death. Good information. They insta hit over towards B. And are they checking corners? Yes, they are. So they only saw like three or four. UCK, one kill. Or plant away from his ult. Omen flash on this as well. The overwhelm is. UCK has absolutely saved them. Oh boy, 1 HP? Smoke over to the spike as well. Tui's. Locks himself off, wants Wall, to try and spam this. Wall. And you've got to break the wall. The wall here. Through, just needs one to really hit and connect. It's yeah. not happening. Wall on that. Okay, and they take him down. Didn't pick up a gun upgrade, but still, the win is here. And this is a little bit like I was talking about in terms of this video, is you can't. Most people play over towards B main with the after plant, right? They get a plant over towards stairs, they can just spam like this. But when we have the wall, it means that we can kind of block vision and do this. And this was a lovely retake as well. The overwhelm util was unreal. <laughs> and then <laughs> they cut him off. off Whatever he's gonna say there. Loud are gonna find it difficult and loud. Situation. This is the one gun that didn't buy into it. All people here. get hit by the knife. Keep an eye on the lurker over towards middle. What danger is there in this round? Maybe if now they know where everyone is. Flip the back ahead of Devi. Doesn't. He's in mid though. Two ease is fast to get into position to make the play. But two players doubled up, Devi and something looking to re-clear. Yeah, good level of awareness. And Forsaken also with pretty decent awareness on the other side, even He's though that one way missed. Yeah, into this corner. He's oh. really stuck here. There's no repositioning. Oh, nice trades. Doesn't matter about a superior weapon. Yeah, and they want to try and hold on to the guns here. Well, they know breaches there now. Sadak just absolutely sent it. Oh, recon as well, and we get some upgrades. One, two. Mastercard are getting the money's worth today. Yeah, for sure. Off the back of the Senjen G game, where we just had thrifties over and over and over too. I'm confused though. In what way was Forsaken stuck in the corner? Monyet's above him. He can walk backwards. It, it, so what what actually happened here is it was just the timing. Right, they kind they kind of had a higher lower, and no, yeah, it, it, it wasn't too bad. It just looked good because of the timing, right? Because he he tucked around the corner to do the smoke, and as the smoke comes in, he's isolated on his own. So it was like really good timing. But, but originally, before they did the smoke, they had a higher lower. So they probably wanted to smoke this off and then check over towards side. So they just got done with the timing. 
and they've gained control and but, ground oh, and not this again this me now. <laughs> not this again <laughs> omen flash goes in they want to then get the spike and protect the guns beacon of guns something picks one up they have no idea about the omen so two he's going to kind of clean this one up double jewel coming in for sake and wins it I'm going to really just brute force their way through. They've got the spike up, but listen, they're just spamming it through. One left to stand, Sadak. One kill. <laughs> Four people get an upgrade. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is so similar to Split with Sen Gen G. The aggression coming out, very similar to the pistol round. I oh, got caught with timing of the omen flash. Just for a moment here. They're in an elimination game. And everyone just needs to keep their gun out. <laughs> right now. <laughs> just relax on the ecos. No one use util. I mean, he has his ult, so you would think someone would throw their gun over to him. Loud, a true roller coaster of emotions. Now, Kalanzian's trying to get tiles to use this fault line that goes sideways and covers both oh, sides. Oh, Sadak absolutely it sent it, and the flash so didn't do anything it? unless oh, with a fadeaway. Okay. Now, what? Worst utility, I scrambled my words. I meant worst weaponry. The utility yeah. was fantastic. But that's Kalanzian trying to get that deep tiles position, and this time no one from Paper Rex punishes him for it. It's just a game of playing over various different areas of map control and a little bit of gambling of where Paper X want to fight. CK will lead the charge here. Oh, does he now want to take a timing once that goes? A shout out to Kalanzin there. Fully on top of that. Two left to stand, two left to fight. Paper X. What have they got in them? Really wide face there and he is going to get beamed down straight through the wall. Devai does have the money to make a go of this, but does he really still opt into it? The thing is, their economy is still in a good spot because yeah. we've just been sent through the Tombola machine. <laughs> you never know what's coming out the other side, and we're all getting shaken up and down. <laughs> Backside position, though. Quickly, Devi is going to be swarmed from this position. Any more damage? At the feet, oh, that's a gun upgrade for him. Dude, everyone's money is so good right now. It really, really is. I mean, I'll do it. I'll, I'll activate the sponsors. I'll make them happy. MasterCard thrifty. Look, Loud are now in a position, though, where... Will a timeout for this? Depends on the map, really. If you're on the worst side of the map, you'd kind of be fine with it. Seven, eight points to be able to get online. You're not supposed to really have... going to be losing his mind again. ...as the economy starts going for your opponent. But Paper X are one away from being broken here. Not that that means anything in this map. Okay, and we get a... But we get a first... This is our first full buy round, really. And he sends an early is, yeah, we're into there. round he's six. We're halfway through the half and it's he our first buy v buy. Like our first full buy v buy. The second fault line perhaps for a later reclear over towards A. So insane. A, a lot of orbs are important at the moment. Less one away. Um, forsaken one away as well. It's slow and steady, though. Cautious. But they have multiple tools for these map control plays, and this time, deciding to invest the drone. No tag, so no ult from Sadak. Delayed wall. Yeah. And, if you, if you and they're it, ready, right. the, there was serious ready to try. And, and, and it's like, why would this guy be holding this angle if they walled off? So off I'm surprised they still flashed no it, but that is the right thing to do. Knife goes in, hits one, two. Oh. Salves now into this site. Will they choose to use any more ultimates? A bit of random spray once more by Devi. Is that Phantom at play at work? Hard retake. Damage, but nothing really it comes to show flood. for it. Oh my God! The Omen Flash hit four. The hell's happened to the Frash? Is a monster in this spot. Does the Frash eat the stun? Any attempt here? They just want to barrel over the smoke position. Something. No chance here on the retake. Stop ignoring Penny. Dude, it was the first it was the first buy round. Tail between that's, his legs. That's legit. Paper X is composition is fantastic on those A retakes. Hello, Penny. You saw oh, the hello. utility was <laughs> flying towards loud, and they still managed to <laughs> the other side. It's a legit round. Mostly 
our think first think legit round. We had. Save his ultimate. They were thinking about investing it. You could see Should you ask me a question? Uh oh. In a spot where he was thinking of vaulting site towards A. Oh, Penny, thank you for the sub. <laughs> That's what. Now I get it. Now I see what you lot are saying. If you go get snacks see. right now, what do I want? Ooh. Come and see him die in the spike there. What do I want? Don't ask me. <laughs> and crisps, I think. Yeah, luckily they've got money to spare. Yeah. But that's a great punish on this mistake. Unless choosing to try to take the aggressive option, not call rice and chicken. Any of that is a snack. Utility is perfect. Less and Cowanzine stepping up for love. Yeah. And now a time I'll be taken here for pay for X. The trouble is, how do you get a grip in terms of what is replicatable? Because the rounds that you're winning have been, yeah. you know, seemingly down to just hitting a few straight shots, going for the mid aggression. Well, Chips. There's a language barrier here. I don't know what they are. Smoke to try to deny info for Sadax. Recon, right? So maybe you tried to lean into that a little more and put pressure onto tiles. That was clearly their game plan coming in, and just because you lost the pistol round doesn't mean that you're always going to lose a fight happening there. But I think the other part of it too is that they just allowed. Yeah, let's see if they change the thing up as well. I don't think um, if they're playing retake like this, I don't think they need to be using their wall as aggro as well, and they definitely need to try lock down over towards a. I really think they're favored. Look like it, and it is so important in moments like this to not <laughs> British fraud. What the hell is going if on you here? Have the right ideas, and they're just not working. You might still want to stick to them. Um, I H N W T L. Thank you so much with the six months. Appreciate the prime. You have two teams like this that are so. My crisp was a choice, dude. I like salt and vinegar crisps, but they don't do them out here. They just hate salt and vinegar. It is gonna vary. Form is gonna play an enormous advantage. Uh, Beanstalks, thanks for the full team months. Appreciate the prime. We could buy four paper X. We'll see if it makes a difference. Based Icelanders, bro, they would rather have like licorice crisps before they did salt and vinegar. It's madness. Of the rifle, he's going to be holding down the B angle just by himself here. It's going to be given up. Acknowledgement there with the dizzy going down, so they know that there's. It's just, I mean, they're kind of playing around, slow similar play, to how they were anyway. Anything out of the ordinary for Loud? No. And you can see that Loud has started. Didn't change too much in terms of the timeout. Money sure is beyond out of control from Loud. Basically, when there's loads of thrifties as well, and there's loads of people surviving, and loads of people are picking up guns, the money just gets out of control. Did they even really get confirmation there that he has a rifle? I'm not sure. I'm free position. Always trying to tuck himself up onto the box here. Wait, we're in a little cubby. Do we... Guys. Okay. Uh-oh. Wall behind afterwards. Do you want to tuck in an ult? Nope. Okay. Fine. Oh, insta-transfer. That was sick. <laughs> Man, they're all here though when he has the spike. What a weird, weird round this is still. Of course they're going to win the thrifty. Up in hand. I'm. Oh, why did I speak? Oh, no. Guys. Okay, nicely handled. They, they played it pretty well though. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? He thought he ran away. And also, an ace. <laughs> Just to cap off how absolutely... This is the, most, this is the stupidest this game, game we've ever seen. We have another thrifty round, powered by Mindfree being able to get a Q play in this corner, and Cowan Zine not really able to clear it. <laughs> the Vi following up with the rifle. And Les does what he can, but it's just... It's not enough. Taking the risk, playing for that variance, and it pays off for mind free. Oi. Flash. Oh yeah, flash it's TP on this one. They really wanted to get the trade as well, but they got Uto dumped. Dude, he's a maniac. Sadak. Nice trades on this one. Hey, well, they go a little bit heavier to shut down over towards A. And so I like that. So they've been losing the battle over towards A. They put an extra pass on into it. And this time win it out. Almost caught a timing. Surely look at look at this team, man. Tap, tap, tap How can you this ever feel confident in your smokes when everyone just disrespects it and wants to take aim jewels? 
They dress for money? Nah, I think they would be saving it at 4-4. I think they're fine. Every single time over they know that this guy's low as well. I think you've got to start trying to take space in the early round somewhere else on the map. Shadows. You can go back and late re-clear with the fault line or the drone. But I think trying to just run in and take that fight straight up is going to be so difficult. There are so many tools, though, that Paper X have at their disposal with this no duelist composition. If you ignore a main completely, sometimes Divide you might just wall it off. This is a cool little play, though. And, and this was the main adjustment from the timeout. What are the chances that both teams just decide to fight a main that fast? The flash connections were so perfect. Paper X fight through all of the smoke utility to get the kills. Yeah, not just the flash connections. I mean, the shots on target too. Yeah. And that was something that I was a little concerned about going into this game, actually. Loud are going to take a tactical timeout, but I, I felt won't. like from what we had seen over the course of the they rest just give of this up game, Loud had more players Who stepping knows? up with their individual form. You know, less is just consistent. He's always a monstrous player. But I feel like QCK's had some big moments. Tuiz has been playing better than expected too, and Cowan has been like putting in some solid work at times. When I was looking at the other side of things for Paper X, it was only really Forsaken that was blowing me away. Something had some big moments, but wasn't always there. Today, he's been on fire. If you want to look at one individual that turned the tide of ascent, it would be something with the operator in his hand. And you've also been getting better and better. Oh, he only have four, him, four. As he spends yeah, it's been, uh, with pressure on him on the been a game. Some of Alex has been alluding to as well in these interviews, but just that stage experience being so valuable for a team like Paperx when they've been making these adjustments. One away from Fischl, we got Rez, KO, but, uh, listen, if it's four double Vipers. This point right now, the ideas and time. Uh, kind of flourishing, Where's the judge they've at? Got good reads, they've got good adaptation, He's going to go into this corner with the judge and they change the wall. They've been changing the wall up a good amount. Right now for Loud to try and deal with. Again, Paper X start three players ready to fight <laughs> Alec, Loud shut the up, man. Exact same default setup again. You know, Sova, Viper over towards A, Cowanzi. It's the, the only thing I see when I look over. Ready for any kind of mid aggression, sure, but not actually taking. Paper X is still doing good at holding main, like early info though. Anything like that. They've been holding over towards B main a lot. For mid, face wide. Doubled up in the high low, but no casualties or It's a lot of pressure. They're running into the uh, running into the judge with the spike over towards A. What is this like? And you would think that oh man, you gotta swing that. He's in his drone. Wait, wait, wait. What's going on? That's wild. <laughs> oh man, come on, bro. It's a, ma <laughs> it's a master. It's an elimination master's game. Certainly is without the omen ult to be able to make the play happen. Rash hunting him out. Smells blood in the water. Bro, give me the coach replay. <laughs> give me the coach replay. They are just slashing years of his life. If something gives him a free kill, though, this is winnable. That's how. The clutch really begins, but he was just a nice round from location. something, though. Four kills in a round for something. And this round, Loud did actually try to. It, it wasn't early round market control, but QCK started walking into mid after they realized Paper X weren't fighting it, and then was looking to prod towards that area of the map. Yeah. But there was no smoke up towards top mid, not enough players in mid to dominate those sidelines. And so there's a kerfuffle that happens over there that Paper X come out, I guess, to the good. And Sadak's trying to make it fake like it's happening over towards A, and the Paper X players just peek. <laughs> the more mess that's involved here, the more I think you start playing towards Paper X's strength. Uh. Fast play again. They go fast. We have a they judge here. Dark. Recon Flash doesn't scan this. Here with the judge. No clearance. No clearance. It's oh, to get God. It's to get Roman Flash Into hits one as well. Big one. duel. Less exactly bails him out. Like Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You have a smoke. Don't do it. For God's sake, man. It doesn't make any sense. It's so funny, though. Every single timeout, like the timeout from Paper X was just throw an extra body over towards A. Then the timeout from Loud was just throw extra bodies over towards A. And it's like we've shrunk the map in half and we're just dueling in this little area the whole time. Like, the map like is this right here, now, that is it. They're really not adjusting their defensive setup too much. It's that Loud cannot come up with the answers. We've now seen four rounds what of... What do you mean answers? <laughs> We're just juggling it. Where Loud want to take control of A and push Paper X back, and they can't figure out how. 
the judge, the paranoia, the swings from both sides, just getting pulled into the maw of Paper X. I saw smiles on the face as the Paper X plays. Of course it would be. <laughs> <laughs> Never, Alex. It's scary when he smiles, actually. Four no, people again. Does he keep the judge? The first no. time Paper X decide not to fight over towards A. Yeah, they give him A. So we might see a very different round here. Louder actually being given this space. Phoenix. I mean, it's like, what do you want? Phoenix or Surely they Breach or again after we've just all? Who wants them? it? And they're like, surely not. <laughs> they're actually clearing over it close. They're just like, well, there's no way they're giving oh, us this the orb for free, right? Like, they must all push the down middle or something. Is. They're so, the they're so nervous for it. So, so funny. Start to use that now towards the site, man. Yet his position is vulnerable. A nice flash, flash, but they're a little bit wrecked, and he needs to smoke this off. They still have. What do they got for retakes? I mean, everything. They're also playing a little bit further back so they can potentially die and get the res from further back. Yeah, and with the KO all and the knife goes in, the knife hits one because it only hit one, they decide to cancel their going back over towards B and have to go towards site. Yeah. Omenol in over towards middle. This guy's going to hear it. He pings it over towards middle, so he's, he's there. Might be eager, though, for a challenge. Here, how's your reaction time? Sun flashes on flashes. Paranoia to meet their match. And a deep dart as well. It's not going to be accounted for. Oh boy, it's double. Scurry, Tucks into it. Gets the connection. Gets the collision course straight into these. He's place. dodging it the whole time. Pretty impressive. Avoiding it. Dodging, ducking, weaving, but not enough there. And a repeat with the outlaw. Something has something to say. Not a reload online. Shock dart. Oh, jump in. <laughs> punish. And they're out wide. <laughs> oh man, they really come alive at the end here. It's so funny. But yeah, they played a little bit further back because they think they were going to use Util over towards here and they can Sage Res. Didn't need to Sage Res in the end, like the buy of the Outlaw, knowing that they would all be light armor. It is so... It is such a mad, mad map. Everything the Loud tries, bearing in mind that this was a lower eco buy as well, but it's all just been getting crushed. Surely, Loud are going to change things up. And this time, their defensive their oh, attacking setup, sorry, does look slightly different. Paper X have already anticipated it, though. Time for tiles flash for mid. When it's here already, forwards in the approach. And he is set up with that. Lovely. Damn. Dealt with. Get out of there as well. Huge. Does something see this guy over towards here, or does he have the best ever timing? Oh, it's so weird. Yeah, Les has owned it. That really has found the gap. It's something. Okay. They have a res, but it's pretty far committed. Do they try and go heavy behind to get this res? Turn this into yeah, well, that res is more likely. Or this res. <laughs> He's got a got an option. Two v three here. Loud have a massive advantage here with the pit with the rolling thunder. Really just letting it loose and letting it rip here. Sky high. Oh no, <laughs> no res in this half. Oh man. Just the mind freak now. Mind freak's been good at catching two e's in all of these previous rounds, but finally. What a mad half. Loud with five. Going out. The Am I getting wrecked by the sun still? Chat, give me like 20 enough. seconds. What's going on? There was a serious streak there of Seven five good for who? <laughs> for who? Like it's, it's not too bad as a half. It's pretty. It's pretty it's standard. You would maybe say the paper are very happy, but they have no duelist, but they kind of make up for that with the sage anyway. Listen, it's elimination. They're already one map behind. It's gonna have to be that comeback, starting at the pistol round in that second half. Before we even get into that as well, earlier we did hear from Forsaken. Just heading into the series. Hello guys, I'm Jason, aka Forsaken, and I play for Team PepperX. Against Genji, we lost, but I don't feel anything and I don't have any regrets. I mean, I can tell that we're gonna lose because, I mean, they play well, but at the same time, I would say we just want to go lower bracket, you know, because I know that they're good. And also we're not in the good shape. I mean like we have like shaky map, shaky roster. Also it's like we're not doing as great as last time. So I didn't like regret or whatever. Something needs to do a little bit more. He's done some damage and there's the follow up. A shot right to Texture's Temple. That's gonna put us in a 4v2 All right. with Paper X. Definitely favored to take this pistol now for Theo, sure. thank you so much for the 18 months. Appreciate it. More of a chance. The G2 no stuff, yeah, I've had the rumors. Don't know what's true or not. If See when it gets announced. Out, I mean, I'm just gonna go all in and I hope you guys enjoy our W Gaming, you know? Actually, I feel like we shouldn't have been in the playoff. We should have been like lost. 
like long time ago, maybe against TH or KC. Because I felt like lucky, I would say, last time. But, you know, like I said, when we go our bracket, and every time we already played the match, finish the match, no matter we win or lose, we will like improve very fast. And hopefully in our bracket, we will show you guys on our improvement. Yeah. Yeah, Forsaken just handling. Uh, winter to summer. Pressure, like Thank you so much for the three months. Uh, coming into this entire with the prime just favorite with the match so far. So now they're just improving at a meteoric pace. Yesterday was pretty fun. Like Loud. They have the, uh, the uh, Sentinels uh, Loud game. Yeah, K Corp. So. One of the big problems for Paper X is that their previous mm. playstyle involved them being in the flow state. Of There's a lot of good games to be honest. Paper X Heretics, yeah, that might be the one. That kind of thing and worry about the fact that you're outside of it. The worse it gets. Was the Just getting absorbed into this tournament seems to have brought back some of that synergy. Some of the single mindedness that we see from them, the hive mind of Paper X, what made them deadly. And the pistol rounds have been, well, I hesitate to say important because they did flip flop a lot at the beginning of this map. But they could so. be decisive. Everybody on Paper X grouped up to try to punish two E's. That's that combo. Do they focus so heavy on this guy? Pick where he TP from. Said flying onto the left hand side. Two years. So not accounted for. QCK just trying to back him up as well as bail him out. Sure. And they are just collecting all sorts of kills with the damage done. I'm out on top and they have a heal. Five the HP. Five HP to 100 HP. Angles, pushing themselves into spots where they couldn't quite get it. Overextending to deal with <laughs> Sadak shots himself on the corner but does pick up the kill. Getting flustered, perhaps. It's okay. Over. There, eventually, with the reset of the A. Okay, back to Less. normality with the pistols. 1 1. 3 1 altogether. He's done damage, but he can't get through this wall. What do you reckon? It's so powerful. Do I the take this off the. Uh, then, I mean, maybe. For the retake, right there. To block off angles in the post. It would do well to lose this. Such a nice addition. To the KO Gecko comp that a lot of teams have been looking at. Look at this, too much to clear, really four less. Big man in his face, follow through <laughs> with the bullets. No kill collected, but he does have too much to do. Already the time's getting away from him. Look at Paper X. Stanced up, holding their ground, swinging off the contact. And yeah, nicely handled. Uh, yeah, 3 1, like I said, all together, so 1 1. Like you said, you know, we've been talking about the details of the importance of it, despite the initial start of this first half, but really it sets them up beautifully. Look, the slow up there, Devai is used as bait. And they really do bait loud into taking bad fights in that situation. All of this was set up as well by an underhand KO flash combo with the Dizzy. We've got a Sheriff and a Ghost. Surely, there's no madness. Everyone's got heavy armor. Three Spectres to ensure that they don't get Echoed. Frankly, Paper X moved fast enough that sometimes you wouldn't even use a second round of Gecko. Oh, okay. I was going to say, bro. Why? Lovely uh, extra. No one stood still there as well. I like that. They made it really hard for him to get the kill. Dude, what is going on, man? <laughs> what the hell is going on here today? Where is that recon gone? Flash peek into Ooh. backside as well. Whoa. Picking up two. Still got that wall, but two is on the flank. Yeah. Pepper here holding the util. Good adjustment by Mind Freak. But it actually a decent opportunity got a little bit scary. Uh, something so with the fish ult now, though. So a big buy round. We've got fish ult here. Was not to be. And as you were saying, Brad, building up something's ultimate here is really devastating for Loud. Difficult to deal with. And I think the addition right of the there. Sage Wall just makes so many of these post plants a little easier to play. This is a map where we've seen a lot of teams develop really solid retake setups. Yeah. Where the amount of utility coming in just ends up being overwhelming. But if you force the retakers down a certain path dictated by that Sage Wall, things get a little easier for, for Paper X. Just throw a wrench into the plans of a lot of teams. I mean, Sage is so unorthodox on this map. Early Thrash. Used to set up here, out towards A. But a fake. In terms of where the pressure is actually coming like, from. Yeah, I, mean, I like this round though. The they create a lot of pressure over towards A. Double question mark and then they free person go over towards mid with a sage wall. It means they can't get shot from behind. So it's nice. He committed so heavy with the spike. <laughs> Was this the bonus round though? The cancel there would have been um, outrageously good. But yeah, he kind of went a bit too heavy there. 
just sneaks in, sneaks that was out. That's nice. And now all of Loud are in a pretty yeah, rough and spot. Don't they know when the hill comes up, but this would be 100 Don't HP with it. So just like that, suddenly there's a lot of doubt in the heads of this Brazilian team. A daylight robbery from one yet. You'd expect yeah, and they haven't spotted everyone, so especially with the early A pressure, they really, and you would think as well, when they go for a mid play like this, especially when they commit the wall, you would think that they're trying to split into A. So this is pretty smart from Loud in terms of grouping up, but as we can see, no no one's actually here. And the smoke really sells it. And at the same time while this is going on, they could have walked over towards here, so now they've got to clear all of these angles. This is actually a hard round for Loud to win. It's going to be weird. Where does, where does this smoke go? Look at the map here. How far away the Surprised they go for this plant. Paperx have got tons of time to try to reposition into a spot where they can upend the player disadvantage. They are not expecting them this far away. To try and fight them. <laughs> they were not expecting them that far away. <laughs> they thought they'd be way closer. To his devices, only the in his hands. It would have to be a miracle. It would have to be mistakes to be made. Less though. A good damage either way. As well to really collect up that kill and get that trade online. So that was a bonus round for Paperx. Two players surviving for loud, they might even consider that a bit of a success. Yeah, I think I would. Uh, Paper X's economy is in a really nice spot. And not just that, they did find a timing through mid. So anytime one of these timing blade based macro plays works, it's going to add another leather, uh, layer of confusion in Sadak's calling. Yeah. Because with a composition like this, you have to be mobile to plug the gaps. And if you're slower than your opponents, and they bring out the up. attack op. A stinger, a spectre, <laughs> and two vandals. We got two people that can, two people on either side that can buy next round. Massive round for loud. Have to really lock this one up. Pretty heavy with the economical investment across the board from Loud. I mean, two players with a bit of money to spare, all picked up as well. So Forsaken just... How long do they give him to try to get a pick? To try and build up towards that big ultimate. He's in a pretty good spot. Oh, boy. Loud choosing to try to fight a Freak at least knows there's two people here. Then they the insta-react over towards Freak middle. Looks like a B-split. Here's a pivot, though, straight into market. They've got anything to try and push two years off. Here are the sound cues. Tidy. Placement there with a snake bite. Less Man, they're all over the place. <laughs> Full middle. We go back. EP pressure over towards mid. This has pretty much been consta smoked. They have at least been dueling out here. So into market wall through broken immediately. Couple of shots sprayed out. Can't quite break it though. Mon yet could really be that insurance playing out. And he gets the good angle over towards spawn as well. That's a lovely shot. Something might have an angle here. Yes, he does. Lovely trades. Only the one instant trade. Something forsaken, just trying to play in tandem with each other. But they are overwhelming them. Mind free towards the back. Less. He's dodging and weaving, gliding across the floor. Finds it now, leaving it to Devai. Time ticking away. What is the call here? Well, the smoke might help him. This time, less sticking, not making the same mistakes. Yeah, nice right. Game two years, locking down the angle and approach. Loud coming out with a big win there. After I think with the plan they could relax there a little bit, but they really yeah, want to fight sight heavier. QCK is at the bottom of the scoreboard, but most of that is because he found it so difficult on the attack side to get in through a main. He just got beaten up over and over again in that same position. It's not really that he's even been able to take some fair duels. I'm surprised at how much the Paper X economy was hurting there. They came into that round with a Stinger and a Spectre, yeah. even though. I thought they were taking the previous one as a Heretics really after plant, yeah, they'll be winning rounds, I think, with it. Paperx messing with their own economy a little bit. Three, dude, really Paperx's economy this whole tournament has been, <laughs> it's been like, it. insanity. It's been like watching old K-Corp. I'm not surprised by any means. 27 HP. I'm surprised they don't overheat in terms of this one of going all the way in. Yeah, they take that. What's the heretics post plant? Plant on stairs. Smoke yourself off and just spam. So game plan here for Paperx, making sure that they can absorb up all the orbs around the map. Paperx now defaulting back over towards B main. And two is getting posted on A with the orb. 
This is something that Loud have brought out fairly recently, but Tuiz has been doing quite a lot of opping at this event so far. Yeah. Knife goes yeah, in, hits a solo a, omen holding over worry. towards A. With that, you would think there's a heavier he stack on site in terms of B. Change up the wall to get over B towards site. If who's Not planning have any way of being able to challenge this side of market, dizzy. What's that connection down to QC? The second has his all, but intact. Wasn't be popping on this one, right? Second tucks side by side wants to play together now. Him and something here running back forwards, facing with it. The flash is not connecting here. Less from the back, feeling really the heat and the Wait, pressure. He's got an extra he kill there. And now back into the action and the fight rolling from the committed. You're not getting away with that woman yet. The TP to evacuate and escape the IA still after shock. Plenty of util left. Um, from? This is why it's so good to smoke yourself off, and these get pretty good angles. Go. Dropping down, those are not on it. Peeking through another tap will force Mind Freak out into the open. Bro, he wasn't sticking it the whole time, by the way. Nicely done in the 1v4. Yeah, and that's a, it's a really strong example of why it's so strong in the after plant. But yeah, Sadak maybe needed to at least get half. It basically was a thrifty. Yeah, they did. <laughs> they kind of, uh, kind of went for it a little bit too much. Probably should have waited for their teammates there. I mean, it's super reminiscent, honestly, of the other day. It's very hard to play in Sen. John QT is playing the yeah. clutch. They, they can't decide who's sticking a bit of miscommunication, maybe getting frantic. It's very tough in those situations where and you time out after because you don't isolate angles that the yeah. clutch player there, Mind Freak, could be peeking from. So really, you got to just tap and push. But instead, they were, you know, Sadak's trying to get a uh, cousin. It. Thank you for the 13 months. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Hoping that they can rely on their individual skill to win it out. And Mind Freak, <laughs> they did the paper X, yeah, pretty much. What a way for things to turn that, that's, that was a good example of how strong it is, right? That, smoke is off, they have to run through really a smoke, and then so enough, spikes out in the open. The There's always two off, angles Alex that you can play off of. Just, uh, it is a broken site at the moment over towards because B. What's happening is paper X are getting I'm surprised paper X haven't been leaning into it more, but it's uh, yeah. maybe they realize after that. In terms of paper X as well, they are close to putting them down to eco. Stingers into and they force into it in terms of loud, and they're up against four alts. They're finding it difficult to pick those timings to disrupt the loud retake. Who's less is smoke? Yeah, there, I know. They can do that against other teams, but not against the comp that loud are running. Let's do what we they're do. gonna get. It just show. It just is a good example though. See if they change things up or coordinate that post plant aggression just a, a tad bit better. What? Strange bite of loud. It is, yeah. It is a force. It's a really bold force. Pretty much the whole map right here. This guy, I mean, he is incredibly consistent with it. He is. They're up against so many bolts. raw aim based on his crosshair placement that I've ever seen. Slow beginning now for Paper X. Nice and cautious. Off the rip. Trying to see if Loud will overplay their hands. Initially, lots of bolts really to work with for Paper X on top of that, so... Given that B main control essentially for free, look like there is that hesitation though in terms of how they want to play it. Yeah, it's interesting. They've spotted two E's, and that seems to be a hard read. That if they see two E's over towards A, it's not the breach yeah. Phoenix setup. And, and I think they know as well, once they get exactly one person over here, it's just a heavier lean a. onto the other side, especially when they don't have freak, control. The and they went and got control map, over towards B, they created the question mark with the dizzy, and then now they hit over towards a site that is fully top. empty. Oh, and Sadak has his ult for retake. That is kind of it. Where does Mind Freak go? Because he could all get us. Will be disrupted. Flash up into the air. It's like actually that. a nasty one as well. Connected onto Viper a ult's not great. It can get spammed, but people can duel in front of it, so it's not the worst. I would have probably liked it to cover an area. It maybe gives them too much space, I would argue. But we'll see. With this smoke down, it's a little bit nicer, though. Molly at your feet. Mind Freak going to be pushed out to the open, and he is the critical player. Has to dodge and... Duck and weave away from these bullets. Ned just flying straight past him. Yeah, they're going to descend it through. through. Look at the all placement. Oh, bad. On high. Two years. He's got so much more to do from this position. He just doesn't have enough info to really work with. Disastrous here for Loud. With the fact that okay, it was huge in the end. Investment. And they forced into it. We see most likely 12. 
correction from me. Loud, they put everything into that one. It was weaker because it was a force. They were coming into it with at least one Sheriff and I think a Stinger to work with. Yeah. But they forced into this to try to stop Paper X from getting to 11 on the board. Loud are now only two lost rounds away from being eliminated in fourth place. When was the last time that happened? I mean, I mean, top four of the Masters, listen, that is not bad by any means. They made it to playoffs, but when there's only 18 Yeah, top four of Masters good. Eight of the top teams, look at this. Another boost play coming out from Paper. Oh, oh, oh. Damn, bro. It's disgusting. They were innovating with that over towards A, and they do it again. Very reminiscent of when they first brought out the Sage Cop on Pearl. Bait out the fights here from QCK and Tui's. This tower is going to be crumbling down. <laughs> Of Lester Boone. <laughs> yeah, Smiles on the faces as they're having it. I mean, they have brought this. Okay, the five chances. Point. They have a res, Fischl, and Omenort. Being eliminated. And I don't think yeah, they're still kind of undefeated with this comp on Sunset. Really sick of this map. Five in a row to be able to pull this out. And for them to go for this boost play. They know that the dizzy has been broken in many rounds, so they know that somebody is top mid waiting to break that. They're having fun? Oh, yeah, man. This team always has they fun. Boost up, get the punish. Loud kind of got a little bit wrecked this event in terms of their map pool, though. Right, having to play split into Sentinels, having to play Sunset against uh, Paper X. Monyet is here so early, but he's been baiting this a little bit. I, I like this from him. It does mean that they can get a lot of space over towards here, but he's been going here and doing this TP and like faking the pressure the whole time. And this time he actually takes it. Lovely from Kawazin to hold this one. It's all over towards sight. They know it's clear. Big jaw. Oh, what a god. Yeah, what a sick round. Oh boy. Pulling this out of seemingly nowhere, 1v1, and loud. Desperation, oh. QCK knows the position, throws the molly, flash round dodge, juked, avoid this. Boy, shot. Saves the day. Shot on this one, just. Four. Such yeah, five chances down to four. That was a really first, nice try to close it. Necessary rounds on the board. Kalanzin was slowed up, top A link. Had to take out two players where the trade. It looked like they the put some ults into good. this as well. He'd already shut down that play from Monia. Counts in's a hero. Deletes two players as they come around the corner. Their mind freaking the vibe both falling. And it still came down to a 1v1. Oh. You have to see that repeated a few more times. It's the op out. We've got a Phoenix or I mean, they're close to some ults as well. Viper all, Phoenix or for retake. Knife goes in, is Les going to shoot it? Yes, he is. That creates pressure that he's over towards here. Something. Looking to try to take an early timing here. Dueling against Les. I don't see how he's going to find the opportunity facing against this Viper wall. Les normally plays a... Like this from Loud, though. They create fake pressure over towards A, and then they're ready to punish middle. Sorry, fake pressure over towards B. Mindfreak taken out. He'll have the res online for this one, but Divide with him falling, no longer available. Reaction from Paper X. Look, they're trying to hoover up this B control. Yeah, drone goes in, clears all the middle as well. Another good plant over towards B main. They do have the smoke alive as well if they want to. Smoker over to B main. Oh man, that's scary. Something going for the peak, going for the peak, catches it in the perfect timing, a bullet to the chest with the IGL down and deleted. Two left standing less, again, heroics are necessary. <laughs> That's a team flash. And it has to be coming out, swinging, traded, one to stand. Should Two be done. To do the most. A fake with the TP, a paranoia evaded and dodged and juked, but a crossfire setup, it's too strong, it's too damn strong. And paper Lovely from Paper X, 2-0. 2-0 <laughs> from the them. The Loud. Or for this one. And something closing out sunset. Yeah, Two something with the op, bro. Today. Holy. What 